How's it going, everybody? My name is Dan. Welcome back to the channel today here. So Ecomi Reese released some Telegram messages giving us some updates on the progress of VV, the MCP, OUP, as well as explaining kind of what's going on in the background in terms of fixing the app, as well as why we haven't had exchanges. He also gives us an explanation about kind of the allegations that he was selling tokens uh, while things were pumping in 2021 and 2022. So we're going to get into that. There's a lot of information here. I recommend you watch the whole entire thing to get all the updates as well as my thoughts here. Before we begin, like always, if you do enjoy my content, I just ask that you give a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this, and let's get into it. Now, first, Reese responds to the allegation that he has been selling his OMI tokens while being the communications manager for Akomi, and he responds here. I wish I had billions of tokens. This is an open market with tens of thousands of participants, day traders, swing traders, short-term and long-term investors, exchanges, market makers, etc. No one controls the price, but until there's real demand for the token and more liquidity price movements will always be volatile. And retail investors always capitulate the lows. It's all just part of the crypto market cycle. Even the big dogs, Bitcoin and ETH, went down 80 to 85%. Exchanges are part of the product rollout strategy. I am frustrated as everyone else that it hasn't happened, but now that Mitch and Nestor have restructured and expanded our teams, we have a dedicated blockchain team to build all the infrastructure and integrations we need. With that, we can create that sustainable demand and uses for the token, which in turn makes it easier to list on exchanges as we can show a solid user base and adoption metrics alongside utilities. So that's quite a bit to unpack here. You know, we can infer from this that the reason why we haven't had exchanges is there needs to be more utility. This is kind of a questionable assumption here that Reese makes. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, so I can only speculate at what is going on. It's clear that projects can list their tokens on various exchanges. We see things like Pepe, for example, being listed on exchanges seemingly very quickly, as well as other mean coins. So I don't know. Could they potentially list on an exchange? I think if they wanted to pay for it, they could get on any exchange they want. But clearly they want to hold out at least in terms of utility and that's what slowed down their exchange partnerships. So I don't know what to think of that. I wish of course we had some exchanges, honestly, just like everyone, I want more exchanges. But is waiting a bad idea? I don't know. I think we could waste an exchange. For example, if we got Binance today, we would probably three or four X in price. And then I think without utility, it would drop off pretty drastically. So is that something we want? If you're in it for quick wealth, that's probably exactly what you want. If you're in here for the long term, you probably don't want that, right? You want natural demand to build up with this token. So controversial. I see what he's trying to get at. I'm a long-term investor, so we'll have to wait and see. In regards to Reese dumping, I haven't really made too much content or any content for that matter addressing that because it is allegations. I have seen some of the data and Reese definitely doesn't deny that he didn't sell those tokens. He's being very, very careful. So how do I feel about that? I was definitely initially a little bit surprised at the quantity of tokens that were allegedly sold as well as the timelines. But I thought about it, and on one hand, I was surprised. On the other hand, I don't, I'm not legal, so I don't really want to say much about that, but I don't think any laws were broken. Is it a bad look? It's definitely a bad look. Uh, but when you look at it in the context of he has been holding these tokens for quite some time, there wasn't really any laws back then or even today about selling tokens. He did transfer his tokens a few days prior. Did he sell before that, after that? You know, these are these details we don't know. I look at it as he systematically transferred his tokens before news. And my theory is he waited for that news to be released and then he sold. 
Is that insider trading? Like I said, I'm not really legal. I don't want to get into any of that because I don't have a legal mind or a legal framework to really decide. But I am looking at it more of a positive way in the sense that I think he actually waited. It doesn't make sense to sell before, and we don't really see any suspicious volumes before, but we see volumes afterwards. I think he waited to get the liquidity to cash out his tokens. The only downside to this is that it does look really bad to be the front person hyping up Omi and telling people that things are coming yet also selling. So we'll have to wait and see. You know, the team really hasn't made a statement in regards to that. So I don't think they will. We'll just have to wait and see. Controversial, yes. Does this bother me? It does. Does it distract me from being a long-term OMI token investor? It does not. So Adrian asks, what about OMI when the start of the MCP program, investors are unhappy? And Reese responds, MCP has already started. I think the public rollout is now complete and being stabilized, so you should have your points balance, level, and rank displayed in your profile. The next stage of it will be spending those points for items in the app. For OMI, we'll be releasing more info on the tie-ins and token utilities with the Master Collector program, which we refer to as the VV Loyalty Program. But in the app for users, it'll be called the MCP, as it's all one program or system moving forward. So people are definitely interested in this new VV Loyalty Program, the merging of the OUP with the MCP. Instead of being two separate programs with different benefits, it's now going to act more synergistically or be more entwined in something that makes more sense for the consumer. I actually agree with this. I don't think they're going to make too many changes in regards to this, but I think as long as it's easier and has the same general benefits that we saw with the OUP, uh, the previous article, I think this will be a good thing long term. Reese has another response here. He says, uh, there would be demand outside of speculation, which is all of 99% of crypto at this point in time, OMI really hit the spotlight when the NFT hype cycle began in early 2021, but it really wasn't ready for the prime time at that point, and the massive user adoption changed literally all of our plans. I feel like we spent 18 months just trying to re-engineer the whole app while launching a ton of new brands at the same time. But things are turning around now. Development really is cranking. New features and updates hitting the platform all the time. The UI UX has been cleaned up too. So it won't be long before we're all talking OMI again. Plus, we have such a strong user base on VV right now, which has always been the thing that would make the difference for OMI long term. So once people see the loyalty MCP plans, I think they'll be content knowing that there are incentives on both sides of the house. You've seen already the utility plans already. So this is really just tying things together. So I think this is really interesting here because it provides a little bit of context of why things haven't been released in the timeline that they've told us. 18 months really trying to do back of the house things. So therefore an 18 month delay and everything they've talked about. And we already know delays have been a strong part of this project not kicking off in the timeline we expected. So there's a little bit of context there and I'm sure a lot of us have already known that they've been working on things in the back of the house. Now I also wanna highlight that they're not changing any of the utility items per se, they're just putting the two together. So all the utility items we have seen so far in terms of OUP, MCP are still gonna be present. It's just gonna be a little bit more streamlined, hence the delay with that. Now I know it might be really frustrating to see all these updates and to think that nothing has been happening, especially when you look at the price of the token. I mean, it has dropped precipitously. I have probably lost maybe, you know, 80, 85% of the token value that I had in 2021, 2022. And it could be really, really frustrating. And I'm not immune to this either. I definitely get frustrated about the progress. However, I think even though you may have these feelings of frustration, I definitely feel that as well, there is clearly progress happening within the app. When we look at the Master Collector program, you know, we have a lot of these things that was promised to us in late December 2022. You know, we have MCP at least tracking the points. And I know that might not be a very impressive thing to talk about right now, but it has happened. The next phase of MCP will be using the MCP points for, for entries into getting drops and securing certain collectibles that you may want to use your MCP points for. Now, this is progress in the right direction. 
I actually don't think it will take much longer to get the phase two. I think we could see that towards the late part of 2023, the end of this year, I believe we could see that. I think that they've been really working on fixing the app in the background, and this is starting to come to a head and fruition. I do look at this as the inertia of getting this off the ground, correcting developmental failures that were going on in 2021 to have a clean slate. We have lost a lead we had in 2021. However, I think we still have a lot of strength. We are surviving in this bear market. Vivi is still selling drops. People are still buying them. The Luke drop, that collectible, has uh, definitely sold out. And we see that it has a lot of value. That secret rare is over $1,000 if you look right now today. It's over $1,000. This shows us that the VV marketplace is still very much alive. It's definitely not the all-time highs in 2021. This is progress. As much as we don't want to admit it sometimes, this is progress in the right direction. Now, I kind of wanted to update you on what I am doing. I still hold 20 million OMI, and I've been watching the price of OMI go down to where it's at today. You know, 0.00. .00 zero five six seven eight something like that that's definitely low however when you look at the omi token and realize that we still haven't had a lot of these vectors where we can gain value with the omi token we haven't had exchanges we are still waiting on the vv verse we are still waiting on omi token utility we are still waiting for the market itself the general financial markets to clear up and start its bull run when you look at all these factors you may look at that and just say okay that's really bad we haven't had these things we should have had it by now but i actually look at this as a way to purchase an undervalued token in order to capture some of that value as we get some of these utility items we need utility in order to move forward out of this price slump and if you look at a lot of other projects a lot of them are also trading at similar valuations so a lot of other tokens aren't immune to this bear market and what i've learned from previous bear markets is that you need to actually stick to your original thesis if your thesis is that omi is done for then yes that makes perfect sense to get out and there's no harm in believing that if your thesis has changed Yes, get out. That's perfectly logical and rational. But if your thesis is like mine, where you feel like a lot of the value hasn't actually been realized yet with this OMI token, perhaps it is better to hold on to it until something drastically changes that point of view. At least that's the view I have. I've come from a stock and real estate background. I've dabbled in crypto for quite some time, and I have a lot of experience just watching things eventually go up in value. If something is undervalued, Eventually, the markets realize this and they want to get in on that undervalued token until it reaches where it needs to be in terms of market valuation. So if you hold that view, now is a great time to buy. Now is a great time to buy OMI if you actually still have that vision of what OMI could do. I appreciate you watching today's video. If you did, please just give a like, subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.